And I'm talking about the black NASCAR driver, Bubba Wallace. Take a look at what's going on with him, and then we'll discuss what just happened today. Now, Larry, let me give you a story before I let you rip on this one. <laughs> a, a, a high school classmate of mine, when I went off on the America, when I went off on the Confederate flag, like in 2012, he says to me, now, come on, Lamont, you used to like Dukes of Hazard when you was a kid. And I said, oh, you want to know what I said to him, Larry? I What'd said, I also, I also like Santa Claus and I like the Easter Bunny until I grew the fuck up and realized that that stuff was not real. And then I grew up and learned what the Confederate flag meant. So no, I do not support it now. Have you right. evolved your thinking? We've been out of high school 20 years. Did you ever evolve your thinking? No, the hell you didn't. Larry's, I mean, already, Larry's already going over every reason why no one should have that flag or that flag should be in history books and museum as Larry already eloquently said. Larry, I'm going to give it to you, but I've got some more to add to this story. Just what do you think? I want to just highlight Bubba Wallace's courage because, you know, he's probably 2% of blacks in NASCAR or anything. That's probably 2%. And in the face of all that, he came out and said, look, we need to get rid of them flags. He said this on Sunday. Next thing you know, NASCAR drops a press release today. Flags are being removed. They're not letting you get up in there with your flags. Floor is yours, Larry. Yeah, I hope they keep that. I hope that I hope that it stays that way because we know what's going to happen. They're going to start. People are going to start showing up to the races. They're going to start flying their flags and just out of out of. They're going to do it at a at a protest and 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 sit up there and try and say, "Oh, this is America. We have freedom of speech." Well, people need to understand again: your freedom of speech does not give you the freedom to say whatever you want at a private event on private property, it gives you the right to not be persecuted by the government. That's what it means. It has nothing to do what you're allowed to do in private events or at private property. So people need to understand the difference between, you know, freedom of speech and, and being able to say whatever the hell you want to when you're on somebody else's turf. So and I, I just, but I understand what's going to happen and it's probably not going to look good. There's probably going to be some incidents where someone flies a flag. Some security guard is probably going to go over there and take it down. There's going to be a scuffle. It's going to make news. Hopefully that people just respect the, the, you know, respect it and just say what they're not allowed and they just don't bring them anymore, you know, hmm. but I'm sure somebody's going to do it. There's probably going to be an issue with some race car driver who's going to put a, a Confederate sticker on his car, some bullshit. And then, as, I mean, we, we, we've we seen that we've seen how this game is played. We know how it's going to turn out. Mm -hmm. I just hope I just hope to God that the people in charge of NASCAR are firm with this. And just simply if someone shows up if some team driver shows up with a Confederate flag sticker on his car, on his helmet or some other BS. I hope they just put his ass up out and just say you're not racing today. In fact, and you're hope, suspended. And I hope they give my man Bubba Wallace a whole hell of a lot more security because his ass just might need it now. Take a look at this, Larry. This is what I was saying me, you, and T. Struve is going to go back and forth on. Of course, under that video of Bubba Wallace saying what he said, there was these kind of comments. Let's take a look at this one. So someone was basically trying to compare the Black Lives Matters movement to the Confederate flag. Larry, <laughs> help me out here, Larry. Help, help me out here, Larry, because... I swear, are these people really that ignorant? I tease my wife all nope. the time. I was like, honey, some of these ignorant fools you see on social media are the lineage of their ignorant ass ancestors that had the nerve to be slave masters trying to run shit. L L Larry, is this, is this no, person trolling or does he really know what he's talking about? He's just upset. 
No, he's he's trolling. Whether he understands why he's saying what he's saying or he's just repeating what somebody else said, he, it doesn't really matter. He's still just trolling. I mean, the, the, the whole idea of trying to compare someone wearing a Black Lives Matter T-shirt to someone flying the Confederate flag, it's just a ridiculous false equivalency. It's just, I mean, it's so utterly ridiculous, it almost doesn't even warrant, you know. That's uh, what I'm saying. You know, that, discussion. Like, it's just, it's it's utterly it's, ridiculous. It's like, why I mean, waste time? Why, why you but, waste your time when you're an intelligent person trying to have this discussion with someone? But let me, let me, let me, let me do explain this, is that oftentimes when you have these white folks out there like that that talk about the confederacy and these confederate flags and these confederate monuments that and 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 they and they look at people that are wearing black lives matter shirts or or you know or whatever sort of positive messages that black people put out there about themselves and trying to express to people our lives have have meaning and matter what they're what they are doing is really saying is look our monuments our icons are about oppression they mm -hmm. are about subjugation and oppression of other people so they they are basically saying we cannot conceive how your your uh you know your monuments and your and your totems or whatever your your messages your ideals uh, that are supportive of your race are not oppressive but supportive and so they can't they, they they can't conceive it because their stuff is all about oppression that's all that they know at and so all, so at they, all costs larry at all the, costs because yeah, they'll so, be quick to tell you that it was the civil war was never about slavery it was about states right and i echo states rights to do what yeah, to own slaves. They don't even that the whole thing has gone. It, it the, that whole thing that that's led to states' rights has been so. They they started off with just blatant racism and talking about all that other stuff, and then they they slowly over time evolve into this argument of states' rights. So it comes so the the racism becomes so vague in language that that they can try and make these arguments that uh, that get away from their racism when their racism is right there, just right at the surface. It's just thinly layered under the, the 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 guise of states' rights. It's all BS and we know it. Or but, nationalism for, and, or, for, or don't dread on me. That's another one of those flags right. that those type of people wear. Or the POW flag. They drape oh. themselves all up in that equality shit, but they don't really want that. I mean, just wear the flag. And then the other one that made me mad about the flag is how they love the flags, right? You know, don't disrespect the flag and all that. They Larry, disrespect have, the flag have, every time they been, fly Confederate flag. Have you been to a NASCAR race ever in your life? I have. Me too. Do you see how many women is out there in bikinis with flags on their breasts, flags right. all and in their butt crack? Ain't nobody talking about no disrespect then. Because the, I mean, there are there are actual laws on the books about how the flag is to be displayed. And mm -hmm. you are not supposed to wear it as a bikini or a T-shirt or short pants. You're not even supposed to have it as a handkerchief. You see people with, with bandanas that are, you're not supposed to have it as any of that stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, let's, so let's just be real. If you want to talk about respecting the flag, then respect the flag. But if you're also talking about respecting the flag, don't dishonor and disrespect the flag in the country by flying the flag of our tra of our of, of traitors that that seceded from our union and had to be put down violently cost uh, cost more American lives than any other war because they wanted to leave and, and start so and start a war with us. So don't put a, don't sit up there and fly those flags and talk about you need to be respectful of, of the American flag. Don't go around flying the Nazi flag and and talk about and talk about the American flag. We had we had you know hundreds of thousands of young boys that had to go over there and fight those damn Nazis. So don't go fly the flags of our enemies that we defeated. I mean, these are two nations that no longer exist because we defeated them. So don't go now fly their flags and then at the same time try and profess your patriotism to this nation. You cannot be a patriot and fly the flag of a former enemy, of a, of a demolished, a, a no longer existent country because you like what they stood for. You like what we fought against. You cannot claim to be a patriot. So and let me let me and to further add to 
Larry's great point. Larry, you know who the KKK is, don't you? I'm not sure they even know who they are anymore. The lost souls. They need to just. They need to just go find Jesus or something. When when but yes, they used, I know who when, they are. <laughs> when they used to burn down houses and when they have their rallies now, what flags do you see posted with them? Right, right. They were always the, flying the Confederate flag. Confederate flag. Okay. Black Lives Matter. Have you seen anyone hung at a stake and burned due to Black Lives Matters? No. And that's okay. the thing. That's okay. the thing. Black. Okay. See, this is the thing. When people talk about this, is the thing that what that that that, and this is one of those differences. When people when 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 black people talk about black power, mm -hmm. they're not talking about oppressing white people, or Asians or Hispanics or anybody else. They are talking about uplifting black folks. When they talk about black power, they're talking about get black people getting educated. Black people voting, black people getting, you know, starting businesses and and, right. and increasing but their see, economic power. They're talking about the empowering, they're talking but, about but, empowering black but, people. White that's power the, that's is the about problem. oppression. Larry, they won't tell us, but that's the problem for white people. Because if you better yourself as an African American and you and equality is met. If Joe the white guy shows up beside Lamont Tyson the black guy and our qualifications are the same and you get rid of systemic racism, he is less likely to get the job and I am just about as likely to get the job as he is. Whereas right now, if we show up, who's more likely to get the job, Larry, with the, with the system we've got in place right now? He is. Of course. So, so for them, getting equality, having black people better educate themselves and do things to uplift themselves for a lot of them equals you're taking opportunities from me simple as that that's their fear and if that's not the fear then why the hell are some of y'all fighting so hard not to see these measures get put in place for equality for black people right 